Hey everyone, welcome back to the Far Northwest Workshop. I'm Matthew. Today is an especially scrumptious day. <laughs> Today we're going to be putting a new handle on my favorite axe head. Right here. And inside, my favorite axe head. I think it's about a one and a half, one and a half pound, maybe two pound. Uh, Hudson Bay pattern uh, Collins going to be going on a 28 inch handle, uh, commonly a forest axe or boy's axe. Uh, this one was given to me by my late great uh, neighbor and friend uh, who actually helped me uh, lay out and erect this building. My father and I built uh, this workshop together uh, under the guidance of a professional uh, who is no longer with us. Being the woodworker that I am, I'll be damned if I'm going to go buy an axe handle. I'm going to give this a little bit of extra soul. Inevitably, we're going to have a whole lot of axe nerds, hey hun, that are probably going to be in the comment section uh, berating me. You know, either you like it or you don't, uh, but I'm going to do what I do, and the Intergalactic Council of Axe Nerds can go ahead and jump me if they want. Yeah, if I don't like it, I'll just knock it right back out and do another one, and maybe that one will be to your liking. Probably not. Let's do! Yes, honey? Okay, Malachi? Keep that away from her. Okay, let's get started. Uh, with the uh, magic of editing, uh, you know, I look like I went over there and, you know, I just happened to dig around there and find the perfect piece of wood. And, oh, oh, this, this, this has it already scribed out the pattern. To Ooh. Yeah, I, I just, I had already done that. I'm gonna do a video, and you know, because people care. Anyways, this is a, a piece of ash. Um, hickory would be choice, yes. Here we go. You know what, you can do it out of oak, you can do it out of ash, uh, hickory, old American standard. Uh, one of the most important things when you're doing an ax handle is getting your grain orientation right. You can take any of your ax handles and uh, granted that the wood was uh, oriented correctly, the grain uh, should be running vertically when you're looking down the handle. And uh, then when you turn it to the side, you should see the uh, plain sawn uh, grain uh, on the side of the handle. There would be the pattern, side of the uh, axe handle here. And if you look at the grain, hopefully that's focusing, then you see the, uh, the vertical grain right there. Uh, that will prevent the axe handle from uh, splitting. If you orient the grain uh, improperly, then it's going to be a weaker handle. It's going to end up uh, splitting or breaking on you. And it's going to be at the most inopportune time, like, you know, under survival situations and then we all die. Uh, the, the wood that I chose uh, is about three quarters of an inch uh, thick. Uh, the shoulder of the ax is closer to, closer to an inch. And then also at the base here, the hilt, uh, you know, what, what do they call that, uh, ax nerds? You, you f an idiot. It's called a Yeah, I don't care what it's called. The bottom of the ax handle. It's right around an inch, just over an inch or so. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanted to use that piece of ash stock. It's not quite thick enough at the uh, base of the handle. Just a shave under on the thickness of the uh, the shoulder. I have a piece of uh, plank that I had re sawn out of some very, uh, very hard oak. Section of a pallet, I would imagine. Anyway, so I'll, I'll probably do a lamination on both sides at the hilt, both sides on the, on the shoulder. The sucker's gonna be solid. I don't care what you say. Have at it. Comments below. Destroy me. the axe to beef up the base of the handle and then uh, two pieces that will beef up the uh, sides of the shoulders. Why do you want unicorn child? What? What do you want? You wanna go back inside? Yeah. I'm gonna we draw. Go Alright. Okay, well I guess we have to go back inside now.
Okay, so now we wait. Tight Bond recommends that we allow 30 minutes of clamp time when you do a glue up. I let it set for 45 minutes because I'm a savage. One thing to note when you uh, go to cut out your shape on your blank, uh, leave yourself a, a healthy amount of stock on the back right there. You don't want to cut it real close to that line because you're going to be pounding on it. Leave it long on both ends. pretty well roughed out uh, on the bandsaw. I'm not gonna go on a long diatribe about you know how to, how to use the bandsaw and techniques. Go watch one of Jimmy Duress's videos. You know, he'll explain to you uh, how he does what he does and why you suck at bandsaw. Don't do what I do, it might be dangerous. You know, get comfortable with it, it can bite. So can every other tool in your shop. I can't be responsible for everybody's stupidity. I can't be responsible for my own stupidity. I'm not thinking half the time I'm using my tools. Anyways, uh, now we're just going to move on to, to sanding. Uh, the shape is all there. There's there's so many different ways to do a, a sand out. You, know, you can sit down with a, a you know a draw knife, hand sand it out, all nostalgic and old timey like poorly lit wood shop with this thing in a vise, a crappy single pane glass, the sun rays. You can see the dust floating around. I don't have time for all that noise. You know it, it's it's a future. You know we 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 have dust collection now. You know you, you want to do that. <laughs> You, you go right ahead. Uh, I need to have this done like ASAP. I mean, this thing should be like a, an afternoon project. This is gonna take me like two weeks. I'm shooting a video for everybody to watch, find out what not to do. <laughs> sanding and sanding and sanding a little bit more. I did, probably didn't even show the part where I you know, scribed the, uh, the, the head, centered over the axe, set it on there, look down the uh, center of your axe pole and somewhere close is probably good enough. Now it's time to bang on the uh, end of the axe. We left that extra meat on there so we could have something to mushroom out and then shave off and finish the bottom of the handle. So let's get to whack it.
about there right now. That's something you want to see right there. You want to see it starting to shave off some of the wood when you're getting down to the shoulder there. Look at that. You want to start seeing that all the way around? I'm just talking out of my ass. Leave me some comments and then destroy me. In my opinion, that's what I want to see. But, uh, even on this one here, you can see when it was not done, how it started to shave over some of the uh, shoulder when they got it as far down as they could. Yeah, I guess you, you could ask for better than that. I wonder how straight this one is. Actually, that's pretty straight. <laughs> but this is good enough. Wow. Hey! Pay attention, get off your phone. Yeah, while well, you were on your phone on Instagram just now, I hacked out this, uh, this wedge of hardwood. <clears throat> Happens to be the accent woods that I beefed up the uh, bottom of the handle and the shoulder of the uh, axe handle. Now, the school of thought on these, you know, otherwise known as the, uh, the perspective of a group of people that share common uh, characteristics of opinion, some say hardwood, some say softwood. I figure hardwood. Leave uh, leave comments. You know, some people use hardwood. Some people use softwood. What do you use? I want to use hardwood. initials right there. My last name at the base. Uh, a little pyrograph pen. It's just one of those little cheap pyrograph pens that you can pick up over at, um, you know, you can pick them up over at Michael's or, you know, any number of craft stores. Amazon anymore nowadays, right? Why even go to the store? Well, time for the uh, part that all woodworkers uh, like doing the most is putting the oil on the wood and seeing it change its color and making the grain pop. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not using anything super special, super fancy. I'm just gonna be using a uh, mixture of uh, mineral oil, beeswax, carnauba, or carnauba wax, or whatever the hell that is. It's butcher block oil, butcher block wax, butcher block finish. You can pick that up at, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, most hardware stores are gonna carry that. Hell, I think Fred Meyer has it. I don't know what state you're in. Amazon, yeah, everybody does. What are you doing? Why are you in here? Anyways, well, let's oil this bad boy up.
<laughs> they just, they don't get it. They see light at night, they go running towards it like uh, like a fly to a fire. So stupid. They're just about the dumbest. If you guys didn't make free food, I would kill all of you. Oh, come on. Alright, let's go. I'm doing a John Woo out the door. <laughs> You hung in there all the way to the bitter end. We went through so much in this one video. Jump cut, lots of jump cuts, you know, 10 wardrobe changes after jump cut, uh, another jump cut. Growing hair, 223 jump cuts. It's absurd. I jump cut a lot. I know it's annoying, but everybody's doing it. We're gonna have to test this thing. We can't, I, you know, yeah, it's done. Beautiful, great. Does it perform? That's what we gotta find out. We gotta go do a test. What, like, what, chop down a tree? Shave down some kindling, you know, like shave my face, buck some wood. Yeah, sure, I could go do some like normal stuff with it. That's boring. You can go do normal axe stuff with an axe. Oh, look, he's doing the same thing that everybody else does with the, the tool that's designed for that. I'm thinking we go one step further. I'm gonna go behind my shop and wing this at a tree. You know, if this thing holds up, freaking awesome. I, I don't want to make this thing again. This was a pain in the ass. Nah, it was fun. It was fun. Everybody's got their own way. Most of them are all wrong, and uh, mine probably is too. But hey, if the handle stays on there and it doesn't snap after going 25 feet through the air at a living piece of wood growing out of the planet, I, I think I think we're golden. Let's let's do it. Let's go behind my shop and throw this at a tree. Feels great. Hey, it looks great. And you know what? Me neither. D did I need to do this? Need is a funny word. <laughs> no. If even there was one thing in this video that I did throughout this whole process that is of any help to you and your future endeavors of handling an axe, well then this video, that's what it was for. This took like a month. It's stupid. Maybe this video can help you get it done in an afternoon. That's practical. I know everybody says it. I actually mean it. Thank you so much for joining me here at the 4R Northwest Workshop. I'm Matthew. As always, you can get it done. I hope I can help. Thanks for watching. Blooper reel. Hmm.
the hell is that? <laughs> My blooper reel is gonna be longer than the video. <clears throat> really silly video. <laughs> I tried to edit it out. <laughs> Retarded. Until next time.